So what I thought is, uh, let me start with a um, few slides to know about our consumer today and what our consumer is uh, actually looking at. So we are now in the digital age. So if you remember last year when Reliance Geo, Geo announced, so they had around 160 million subscribers enrolling in less than one year. So more and more of our consumers are actually becoming digital. So this is the slide that talks about the number of people who have gone digital and who are using the digital platforms to make their decisions. So now it is somewhere around 329 million people are using digital platforms for doing day-to-day -day transactions. And surprisingly not, mobile has become the preferred way of doing business. People love to pay money only through mobile. You yourself can check it out. Most of the transactions that you are doing today is mostly on your mobile. So we have gone away from web. We have gone away from actually going to the offices. Now we use mobile as our payment gateway. And that is what we are using for making most of the payments. And surprisingly not, it is projected to reach somewhere around 1,130 billion by 2021. <clears throat> so new age consumers are going digital and prefer virtual healthcare services. So there were a lot of surveys done, so I'm going to share some of the survey data. So first and foremost thing, why they liked it is because it is more convenient. I can get the service from the place where I am. I could be in an airport, I could be at home, or I could be in some location. So, but I am in my comfort location, so I want to get the services at my convenience. And second thing, they also feel it is a potential cost saver. So I don't need to spend money on travel, wait on appointment points, and all those kind of things. And digital prescriptions are more preferred because they say it is easy to refill the prescriptions, and it also enables to have frequent communication with the provider. So this is a survey done by McKinsey. So McKinsey finds, uh, like when they did the survey, so why people are preferring digital solutions. So they said like 81% preferred for doing shopping healthcare plan. 84% per said they use a mobile app to actually search for a doctor. And 82% they use for checking the health information. And 82% is using for monitoring the healthcare metrics. And 85% are using for paying their health insurance bills. And 79% are using it for purchasing the healthcare plan. So <clears throat> when they asked about, there was a survey conducted about the privacy. So consumers said that they are happy to share the data as long as they are getting a better service. So 62% of them said, right, I don't mind sharing the data as long as I'm going to get better service from my provider for my healthcare. So what is happening? Happening is healthcare is moving into home care. A lot of people are now preferring to have the health care be given or provided at their home or the place of their convenience. And they would like to go to a health care institution for surgeries and critical problems which needs to be handled. In other words, the convenient location has become the location of the choice because today most of the digital users are going to use the mobile as their platform to get the service which they are going to need. So what is the market need? So we have to always do our business based on what the consumers are looking. So today's consumer are going mobile. So which means our business also need to extend itself to the mobile platform. So the market need is an extended care platform to address the needs of new age digital customers. So the potential market segments where they are looking at are the population health, elderly care, chronic disease management, wellness care, and then remote monitoring and telemedicine. So these are all the markets where people are looking for care to be provided at their footsteps. So the solution we came up with was called Virtual Clinic. So it's a smart healthcare solution, which is based on IoT and artificial intelligence. So I'm going to spend a few minutes on talking about this. So what is Virtual Clinic? To enable established healthcare institution to extend healthcare services 
to reach digital consumers in their preferred locations with IoT and AI. In other words, we already have well-established healthcare institutions. How we can take the services of those healthcare institutions to the footsteps of the consumer who are going to use the digital platform with the technology. The technology which we are going to use is IoT and artificial intelligence. So our solution is called AMI Smart Care Solution. So it is an all-inclusive turnkey solution. So we participated in a global competition called Qualcomm Tricorder X Prize, and uh, we actually built one of the Tricorder devices. And we became one among the top five, and we also won the Milestone Award from Qualcomm Tricorder X Prize. So we have a set of IoT devices, which are all a portable healthcare devices, which is sold under the brand name Bolt. And we also have a healthcare platform, which we call, built it called as the MedRx, which is a mobile application-based platform. And then the data goes to the cloud. So we also have done some amount of data prediction and analytical services using machine learning and deep learning. And we provide this as a complete package, as an integration services to various hospitals, various healthcare institutions. So one of the earlier gentlemen who spoke here, who spoke about centralized and decentralized care, I very much agree with him. So we need to extend the centralized care. Already the healthcare institutions have a lot of data. So we need to find a way for those institutions to reach the footstep of every customer. So here is a small example. So a consumer typically at home, using their mobile and using AMI devices, can check all their vitals parameters. And that information goes automatically to hospital like Apollo, wherever they are located. And once it goes to the hospital like Apollo, it also goes to the Apollo doctors and Apollo clinicians. So if it is an emergency situation, the doctors and clinicians can immediately talk to the customer and have the customer arranged an ambulance and brought it to the hospital. So if it is a normal situation, the hospital collects all the data, and the data is now available in the centralized server, which can be used for data analytics, which can be used for deep learning, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. So the connected care platform which we built is called MedRx. So MedRx has three major components. One is for the hospital administration. The second one is for the patient care. And the third one is all the reports and accounts. So it is a complete mobile-based platform. And it also has a web component. And it easily integrates with any of the existing EMR and HIS. And we have done it in multiple hospitals, including Apollo. So these are some of the devices for which uh, we won uh, uh, the award from Qualcomm Tricorder X Prize, and these products are also being marketed across the globe. Currently, we are going for FDA for these products to be available in USA by second quarter of next year. So <clears throat> some of the things that I want to talk about AI, machine learning, deep learning is, without data, you cannot do anything. Data is the fundamental block. We can talk about the world's greatest algorithm, but if you don't have huge volume of data, velocity, volume, and variety is the key. If you don't have data, if you don't have variety of data, volume of data, velocity of data, any deep learning, any machine learning is going to fail. Today, as the earlier gentleman was saying, 95% of data is available only with the institutions. And we don't have all the data aggregated. And one important thing is garbage in is garbage out. So we need to make sure the quality of data is also improved. And it is also important. So it is the data that defines the algorithm and not the algorithm that is going to define the data. There is one important thing. I have an expert here, Professor K. Ganapati. So you would talk a lot about the brain. And what we have achieved in machine learning and deep learning is less than 0.1% of what a human brain can do. So some of the implementations of where we have done this virtual clinic, so we have run the uh, impl impl implementation across the globe. So this is one of the implementation done by University of Berkeley in India, in Gurgaon, and one by Tata Institute. So we have like a multiple instances where they were able to extend their existing hospital setup into a virtual clinic. So the benefits of an integrated smart clinic solution, 
And our solution, it is clinically validated. And we have made sure that it is consumer friendly. And it can help existing healthcare institutions to capture the future market, which is the digital market. Today, the world is going digital. So it is important every healthcare institution has a plan to take forward their services to the digital platform that is mobile. And it will also improve the patient confidence because the patient is going to be constantly in touch with you. And this is a new revenue generation model. And more importantly, mobile is used as the platform. So mobile gateway and mobile payment is going to make sure there is a lot of transparency and a lot of innovations are happening in this area.